everyone, welcome to Tights TV. You all know me, and uh, you should know Andy as well in the red corner. So, Andy, as always, great to have you on, mate. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Not a problem. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, after disappointment in midweek against Lincoln City, I think we all kind of agree we're looking for some kind of performance and, uh, you know, possibly a change in fortune, mate, against uh, a Forest Green Rovers, who I think it's fair to say were pretty poor. They didn't really offer a threat, yeah. but there's always that danger. It could be banana skin, couldn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. All due respect to Forest Green, uh, shall we say, not exactly the best team uh, I've seen at Oakwell. Um, mm. Did pose much of a threat, but we've seen it before. In games like that, uh, teams uh, comes to Barnsley, does a like a smash and grab, and that was always at the back of my mind. But uh, yeah, we got job done. Um, that's main thing. I don't think it was. Um, a spectacular uh, match um, and performance from us, but yeah, got job done, and that's main thing. It's something to something to build on, and uh, hopefully, you know, that bit of a blip, um, which I'm hoping is a blip, uh, is behind us now. Uh, and you can only play what's in front of you, like saying, uh, Forest Green, not exactly best uh, best team in league, but uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we did job, and that that's main thing, and. Uh, I thought our first goal, you know, it, it, it worked out really well. Uh, again, I'm pleased for Paul. I really am. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you agree, you might not, but I think for first 10, maybe, yeah, but I think five, five, ten minutes, I think it was a bit apprehensive. But yeah. it soon after that, you could tell what made a difference for me as well. I know Luke Connell got man at match, but for me, Jordan Williams, that attacking threat at Dark Wing, I thought it was well, definitely... Uh, um, a game changer for us, Andy. I mean, great yeah. to see him back and all, isn't it? Yeah, uh, without a doubt. Uh, me and Maddie said that while uh, we were playing, and uh, he assisted uh, Cole's goal, if I remember right, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Um, but yeah, made a difference uh, down that side. And again, he, you know, he's coming from um, criticisms um, from me as well. Um, but yeah, it, it makes a difference, and that's what we've been. Uh, lacking that bit of energy and uh, we've got it down that side William uh, at minute and yeah well please I, I'd have given him man at match if, if it were down to mm. me because um, mm. I'll be honest I didn't expect him uh, being thrown straight in I thought he would have been like on a you know uh, as a club <laughs> um, so yeah I got my team prediction wrong <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah but, but yeah brilliant uh, glad to see him back and um, it, it well, it looks like he's not missed a beat uh, for me. Mm. Um, like I said, to me, what man at match, but, uh, you know, there we go. Yeah, for a few people that stand behind me, like, and I, I mean, I kind of get it with Luke O'Connell because it tends to be, it tends to be orchestrated a lot in midfield and it yeah. was to see Luke O'Connell back as well starting because um, he got subbed off at Markham and he got rested. He were on bench at Lincoln yeah. in midweek. So, um, and I think it's... <sighs> For me as well, it was kind of pleasing to have a discussion positively and uh, an hard one to think, oh, is man at match? Because last couple of games it's been a struggle, but now we had probably Williams, Cole, Luca Connell, were a fair yeah. few kitchen, you know, were yeah. a fair few via what war in or via a via bats. And I think that's, I think you've got to give some credit to Duff as well because he did say after it, uh, he wants a great performance, but then again, it won't a bad performance. It's like an yeah, improvement. It, it was constantly striding, wasn't it? Yeah, professional uh, uh, performance. Uh, what bad class it is. I thought mm. Norwood did well as well. Yeah, uh, he did out by score, and I, I thought you could see that he did want to <laughs> be on score sheet uh, yesterday. But again, yeah, I thought he played one of the best games I've seen him uh, play for us at minute. Uh, worked hard and. I really wanted him to get on score sheet because to me that's the only thing that we're missing uh, in his mm. game yesterday. What impressed me as well, Andy, is that I mean it's been well documented that you know we haven't scored enough goals and this other. But what yeah. impressed me is that the movement in final third were better. It was it seemed to play them two one one focal person up, up front, whether it be Cole or Norwood, because it was like the movement and interchanging between there and Benson were pushed a bit further for it. So mm. at times, in midfield, we looked more solid. We looked like we had a five. Yeah. But then 
his moment at final third to create chances for such as your Williams and Cannon to bomb forward. And again, with conditions, a bit slick, a bit wet on floor, it yeah. had the opportunity, wasn't it, to get a ball pinging across the box and who knows, a slide in and it could, oh, it could happen, couldn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, I agree with that as well. Um, yeah, I don't think Connell's made a difference in midfield. Um, I don't think we missed him while he's been out. Somebody just to put, um, you know, his foot up ball and just to calm it down. And that's what I like about him. Um, mm. But yeah, um, everything sent better yesterday. Um, but like I say, um, opposition won't the best. But uh, yeah, it's got to build uh, a bit more confidence that because uh, I think yeah. that's what's been lacking and. Uh, yeah, before we kicked off, um, there were a few doubts in my mind. Um, you know, being a bit, like say, apprehensive. Um, but yeah, um, good professional <laughs> performance, and that's all we can ask for. And, and yeah, um, like I said, I, I was just surprised that we didn't get a bit more, uh, a few more goals. Mm-hmm. But you can, you know, you can't have everything, can you? But uh, their keeper, right, right place, a great yeah. time for a few. Um, a few opportunities for us, but yeah, two 0 I'll take that any day. Yeah, I mean, their keeper Thomas. I mean, he said it could have probably been four or five. Uh, yeah, if it to been for their keeper because yeah. we're chucking this here. I yeah. don't know who got loudest cheer at game. I don't know if it was a uh, call scoring or Daniel Stendel at half time. <laughs> Good to see Daniel yeah. Stendel back, mate. I know. I, I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, we're well, when I saw him. Uh, I was thinking, yeah. you know, in, in the, I don't know, I don't know what director of footballs do at clubs, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure he could have an input in clubs somewhere. Um, so, yeah, figure, I, I, I'd look, yeah. I, yeah, I'd love to see him back in some sort of capacity, and I think, uh, mm. you know, everybody else would. Um, but, yeah, really to see him back, and it just shows how much, uh, you know, he uh, loves club and his time at Barnsley. Um, yeah. Because I, I think he's still living in Germany, isn't he? Um, I believe so. Um, I think, yeah, because he, he did go abroad, didn't he? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it, you know, it brilliant to see him back. Um, but, yeah, it would, it would be good if he could come back, uh, like I say, in uh, some sort of a role. But, uh, yeah, that probably a, a little bit too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, uh, I think good uh, tactical substitutes as well. I mean, that's off to duff for that. Uh, yeah. Slobodan creating unselfishness yeah. for uh, Martin. So, again, that's off. I mean, it's, it, you know, everything uh, seemed to be ticking boxes. Everything was going right for us, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, got glad for... Um, go on, I forgot his name already now. My memory's crap. Uh, Imul came on a sub. Strike. Oh, God. Uh, Slob it on. That's him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, um, glad for him. Um, I still think there's, there is something lacking in his game, but yeah, uh, I remember. I just goal. wanted to score a goal because when, ah, he, got, no. when he turned game yeah. number one, I think just, just going for him because I think he, he's missing back. I just felt like a bit of confidence, yeah. you know, yeah. a bit of pressure release. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted him to have a shot, but he did it right thing. He squared it, mm-hmm. and uh, Martin missed could he? Um But yeah, that, that's probably just what's missing. Again, is you know he'll be aware about it. Um, you know, not scoring, and uh, I think once again that that goal, I think he'll be be flying. Um, mm. But yeah, um, yeah, you got to give uh, Duff credit without a doubt. Uh, Met subs at right time. Uh, which uh, last match, um, I don't think he did. Um, mm. So yeah, he's learning as well. Um, so yeah, um, it's a uh, cup match in it next week. So yeah. that'll be a nice break as well to uh, probably build a bit more confidence up with fringe players as well. So yeah, yeah, it, it, good time that to uh, put things right on uh, on pitch <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, I mean, like you said, said, they've got Bolton in Cup away, and there's only two games in the league. I think we've been at home, is it 19th yeah. of November against yeah. do MK Dons in it? So it's like, I think it's a good time, like you said, Viv, because we have, there have been some games where it's been midweek, weekend, midweek, yeah. weekend. I think it's a bit of a rest, probably, you know, 
players will have been carrying a few niggles. Hopefully, Matty Wolf's not far off and he's going to be in contention as well for other yeah. options. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll do a uh, we'll do a video for later on in the week for the Bolton game. Yeah. Um, but I, I think from, from the game against Forest Green, like I said, yeah, they didn't really offer us as much, but there could always be a threat. I mean, you look at some uh, results in the league of the past couple of uh, yeah. weeks in League One. So, at the end of the day, we've got to do his job, professional. Please yeah. to hear that Duff has said that, you know, it, it's an improvement. We've still got to get there. And he, he knows, and I'm no doubt, players will know his sin, that Duff won't accept all, any less than you keep on striving to improve all the time as well. Yeah, uh, if, if you don't show it in training, um, you, you're just not going to get it, are you? Uh, under Duff. And that, that's what we need. Um, I, I know that we need depth to do that, but I think that's one of the reasons why Aitchinson won even its squad yesterday. He had to leave somebody mm-hmm. out and it won him. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, he's got no favourites and, yeah, you've, you've got to you've got to earn your place in that team. Uh, and that's why yeah. uh, I think Williams uh, were thrown straight back in. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, um, definitely got a you know, a decent manager there. Um, Thought-wise, football-wise. Um, but, yeah, it goes back to the old, uh, we need to back him now, don't it, in the next window. But, uh, yeah, players all know where they stand with him and uh, that's always a good thing, that, definitely. Andy, as always, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, mate. Uh, get your thoughts on uh game and, obviously, players and that. And, like you said, there's, uh, we're always improving and yeah. hopefully this will be, uh, you know, Kickstart and we can build on it, mate. So yeah, okay. uh, thanks for joining. Uh, like, leave your comments below. Let us know your thoughts as well. Uh, one thing left to say, Andy. I think, isn't there? You Reds. You Reds. Get in.